Hello everyone, CS Word here with an update to the binary counter. So first of all, the pistonless design, I managed to get to a much more compact and reasonable size, however it is still not tileable. And even if you build vertically and work your way down, you still can't get it tileable as I found out. And I think that's because each T flip flop is three blocks wide. Anyway, if you're interested in how I built this design, all I did was make a output from the repeater and torch line up into a single line to go into the next T flip flop. And then the above ones have the repeater power the block to get the dust underneath and then they go and power the one underneath next in line and then it was just a matter of lining up or blocking off lines so they don't interfere with each other and i forgot to put the dust up here so that it can actually continue like it should yeah this did come out at a cost of having an additional repeater on the bottom however i don't think that actually impacts the performance at all and if you actually want more uh even delays if that is at all an issue for some reason then you could just simply put an extra tick on this repeater up here. All right. Anyway, I got a message that asked, why did I not use quasi-connectivity here to power these pistons that have the repeater? And the answer is simple. It's not available in Bedrock. And yeah, although I'm in Java, if someone is on Bedrock, they couldn't build a quasi-connectivity design. And if it's not available on Bedrock, then it's possible that it could actually even be removed eventually from Java. Although I don't see that being right away, it still is a possibility. But since it's still a case right now, I went ahead and built a quasi-connectivity design right here. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. Keeping with the same pattern of powered rail and the observer getting the next one in line, instead of having a direct power system, there is diagonal quasi, and then vertical quasi, and then updating the pistons with the note blocks right here. Go ahead and turn this off. As we see, the binary counter is working just fine. And yeah, this is actually a rather clean profile, and it became infinitely expandable once I added this third level, since now the first and I technically fourth, although it was the third, can now be placed at the same spots, you can make this infinitely expendable as much as you want. So I decided, well, if that's the case, why don't I just simply try and get rid of this observer altogether so that there is even less delay? And that's what I did over here by making a almost perfectly redstone dust version the second and every third one that follows needs a single repeater, no delay, and yeah, this can actually keep up with this rather quick clock here. Again, still having that direct power, quasi, and vertical quasi. Go ahead and turn this off. Anyway, so this design can be built rather simply. We'll go ahead and, and quickly do it. All right, now the way that the setup works is directly underneath the pistons. You'll have one of dust and a repeater, and then underneath of the observers that are in the line, you'll have a piece of dust down there, and make sure we put our pieces right there. Of course, the next one would be more dust in line. Anyway, the first one is the simplest to power. Simply put a solid block there and there, dust, dust, and it's done. Now, to get from the second to third, it's a little bit more difficult but still very easy. So you go out two spaces, up, up, and then you head back. And now you can actually head over like that. Make sure you actually use a solid block here and you can fill the dust in on the rest of what you just placed. Now, as you see right here, the lines are crossing. So we put a block there so they don't. And we need a note block here to, so that this quasi connectivity power in the piston can actually update it and I would even recommend putting a piece of glass or something on top so it doesn't make any sound. However, if we notice, the one from the first one here would will power the third and the second. However, we only want it to power the second, so we're just going to redirect the signal with a button. And now, yeah, the third one in line is just going to go out two more spaces from where this one begins and another glass tower like such, up, up, and now this one can be over and make sure we have a solid block above the note block. Put on the dust on all of the glass. Now we see lines are, in our, are crossing, so we just go ahead and put our blocks up top and down here on the bottom, three blocks there. So we don't have number three here, crossing with number four. And yeah, that'll do it for this design. You could actually keep continuing, although I, I really won't. You need a block there and there for the next one, so on and so forth. And yeah, eventually if you make it to like number five or six, you will need another block here on top of the three, just so that this one doesn't power this way. And it, 
yeah, just grid it out like that. Well, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.